Hey everyone, Riley here from LeaderPro, the number one software marketplace connecting buyers with sellers of software solutions instantly. In today's tutorial, we will cover how to collect contact information using Web Scraper. So if you're targeting businesses on Yelp, one way to do it is by collecting the contact info from Yelp. And to do this, you can use Web Scraper. So to use this, you'll want to install Web Scraper as a Chrome extension. And then once you've done that, next step is going into Yelp to create your search results. And once you have the search results here, just open up this and go into Web Scraper and this is where you start creating the setup to collect the contact info. All right, so as you can see, each one here gives their phone number and website, so we can collect both. And there's no email, but we collect websites and phones. So here, let's copy the URL and we'll call this Food LA. And since there are multiple pages, we need to do pagination. So let's work on that first. So we simply collect pages and then it says element. So click on that. And now that is done. And the next step is going to be selecting the element to go to the next page. All right, and we're gonna click on click more. And then for each pagination, we want the company name and we also need to click on the link of the restaurant and then we're done. Now click on the link and when we click on this, it takes us to the profile of the restaurant. And from here, we're going up the element view again to go back to the setup and go back into Web Scraper. And this is the one that we're working on. So go to pages, go to link, and this is where we can put in what contact we want. So we want the website and the website is a link. So we got to select link and then select the website and then hit save. All right, so next we need to collect the phone number and the phone number is just the text. So type will be the text and go ahead and select the phone number. All right, so at this point, you can go ahead and click on scrape and start scraping. Now, once you start scraping, a window will pop up. So the first step for the web scraper is to visit all the pages. And then the next step is to visit each individual restaurant profile. And after that, the next step for the web scraper is to collect the website and the phone number. All right, so now I'll show you the pop-up in a screenshot. All right, so this is the pop-up that we're getting. The first pop-up is basically visiting all of the pages. And this is the first step where the web scraper will visit all the pages from the search results. And so it's still on page one, but in the pop-up window, you can zoom out and just look at the progress of the scraping. But to keep this short, as a reminder, it will click on each page and then visit each restaurant profile. And then the way we set it up, it will also collect the website and phone number of each restaurant if it's available on Yelp. And now I'm just going to skip to the final file. So as mentioned before, the way we set it up was to give us the website, phone number, and the restaurant name. And this is basically what the file will look like. So it has website, phone, and name. And this one says pizzeria, which is different from the one we did on restaurants, but it is basically the same process. And as long as Yelp has the website and phone number the way we set it up, it will be able to collect both and export it so you can use it for your campaigns. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more tutorials. Join Leader Pro today.